You may have some things you don't understand. You can't figure out. You don't see the answer. That's okay. You don't have to see it. This is a key to faith. Trusting when you don't understand. Trusting when you don't have the answers. Trusting when it seems like just the opposite of what you were hoping for. Quit worrying about those things you can't figure out. God has you in the palm of his hand. I know not how this is going to work out, but I do know who's on the throne. I do know who's directing our steps. I do know who's planned out our days. You may. And so when, when days are really good, I'm going to celebrate. Lord, thank you for the goodness you've allowed me to experience under the sun. And when days are really, 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 really bad, I'm going to trust. I say, Lord, I know you're good. This doesn't feel good. I'm going to trust you're not done. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to feel all the things. I'm going to experience all the emotion. But at the end of the day, God, I trust you. So at the end of the day, what do you do when you feel like his voice is silent? We trust that his hands are active. His ability to work does not hinge on my perception of him working. He is God Almighty and paints on a bigger canvas than I can imagine. This is who he is. He's never missed a call. He's never done something he wished he could take back. He's never been so busy figuring out something that he missed you over here while you were doing your thing. Never one time has God failed. And today won't be the day he starts and you won't be the person that he starts with. This is the... How many times have we as people allowed God to get us through something, get us beyond something, get us over something, get us through something, and then even after its completion, we sit there and we dwell on it and we dwell on it to the point where it becomes an anchor around our neck and we can't move on because we just won't let it go. Move on. Stop harboring on the past. Stop hanging on to every time you fail. Stop hanging on to every time you slipped up and messed up. Stop hanging on to every time you didn't get it right. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody messes up. Everybody don't get it right. Everybody struggling with something. It's way more important where you're going than where you've been. If you live in the past and you live in the future, you're allowing two thieves to rob your life. But if you live in the present, the Bible says that God is sufficient for every day. There's a wonderful verse in Deuteronomy 33, 25. Here's what it says. As your days, so shall your strength be. I love that verse. That means, Lord, I don't know what's going to happen on Wednesday or Thursday. I got this and that and all that. But all I know is this. For this day, I got the strength you want me to have. As my days, so shall my strength be. I live on that. Here's strength. Here's what I've learned. I don't know how God's going to deal with tomorrow, but I know he's sufficient for today. And I'm going to rest in the promise that he's always kept. He's never, ever out-promised himself.